All right, Craig, we're back again. A few weeks out from the trade deadline, teams have big decisions to make about what they want to do heading towards the deadline. The Edmonton Oilers have been one of the best teams in the league for a couple months now, really since Knobloch has taken over and look once again like a Stanley Cup contender. The one big question for the Oilers is, should the Oilers mess with a winning formula? Well, it depends how you describe and define mess. And when you look at a team that certainly had their stumbles early in the year, they have clearly put themselves back into the driver's seat as one of the Stanley Cup favorites. So what does it take to strengthen your team? We have seen teams in the past add to their group. Obviously, it goes without saying that adding the right type of player in the right spot is going to be really significant. I'll go back to the New York Rangers last year, who were a Stanley Cup contender, a favorite. They added Patrick Kane. It never seemed like it worked. It never seemed like it was the right fit. So what are you messing with? I think you identify where you can improve your team, where that is. Could it be a little bit more help in the top six? Could it be more help on the blue line? I like their defensive play. I like the fact that they've really pushed their game forward. I would look at two areas, Mike, to, me to mess. Number one, if you can add that top six, seven forward or some weight and speed deeper down into your forward group. That's where I would mess. And I think that that would make them stronger and put them in a better position to contend for a Stanley Cup. And it's important to note that when you're adding depth down your lineup and size or strength, you're adding a periphery middle six winger, you're not messing with the chemistry of the team because those are, those are complementary players. They're not major league players. But you're absolutely right. The answer is, should the Oilers mess with the winning formula? Yes, because they're not a perfect team. There are no perfect teams in the NHL. And I think you identified areas of need. I'm with you. If you trust Stuart Skinner, goaltending is going to be hard to fix anyways. Go with the goaltenders. If you look at the defensive metrics they have put up over the last two months, they are as good as anybody in the league. You may not love the names on the decor, but guess what? They're playing really well, so maybe you add a depth player or whatever, but you're not going to probably swing for one of the big names. But I do think they brought in Corey Perry not to play in the second line. They brought him to play in the third or fourth line, and yet right now, at times, he's playing with dry settle in the second line. They will look for one more top six, middle six winger to round out their forward group. And I don't think that's a huge ask. Shouldn't cost too much, and it shouldn't mess with the chemistry of this team. And then maybe you're right, a little size, maybe a fourth line centerman that could really lean on players, especially in that Pacific division where there are a lot of good centermen out there. But I don't think it's a risk to bring in a new player or two. I think the bigger risk is to do nothing. I think the bigger risk is to say, well, we've been good. We are good. We'll take our chances. They have this year and next to hit it with McDavid and Drysaddle, Craig. I don't think they can waste another year by being cautious and conservative this trade deadline. Yeah, conservative is not the way to go. I mean, the great line, safe is death by Craig Ramsey and John Tortorella, I think this applies here. And when you talk about McDavid and Dreisaitl, also extending out to how the team has been playing, the defensive metrics outstanding, the way they approach the game. I think that the time is now for the Edmonton Oilers and adding that player. And, and Mike, you know, having been in dressing rooms and with players going out and coming in, when the right player comes in and that you clearly know as a player that that player is going to help you be better, there's excitement there. That's not messing with anything negative, and that's what the Edmonton Oilers have to look at doing, creating even more excitement for a run towards the Stanley Cup. I think we're in agreement. The Oilers are really good, Craig, but they can do a little bit more to be even better and give themselves a great chance at winning a Stanley Cup this year.